Welcome to Charts Today, my name is David Linton and today's edition for Tuesday the 3rd of October comes to me from Amsterdam. I'm here for the EMART Energy Conference, uh, speaking at it uh, tomorrow. So uh, we start by looking at the dollar index and we see here uh, the dollar is just continuing its its general rise really. We've had now a good few weeks of the dollar just recovering. It's still bearish in the medium and long term against uh, a basket of currencies. Remember this is the index. But the uh, the short term chart is is bullish and so we are just undergoing um, probably the best recovery we've seen in several months and if we look at uh, the euro we see the euro has been generally bearish at 117 at one stage there against the dollar just bouncing a little bit up this morning but uh, euro just coming off the top again still holding its bullish medium and short term position against the yen the dollar is now clearly through on the medium term and long term chart so we are just seeing now a good few weeks uh, on the long term chart and a, a, a several days on the uh, medium term chart and the short term looking bullish so the US dollar showing its strength there yen weakness uh, looking at sterling sterling coming off uh, it's just been in a, a, sh a short term downtrend against the dollar at 132 we are just coming off the top here rolling over this may be just finding long term resistance and looking against uh, the euro we see sterling falling back here a little bit as well um, this is still bearish medium and uh, long term and the short term position is still pretty bearish too uh, against the swiss franc uh, sterling did jump last month but we are just seeing again that uh, fall away and against the aussie uh, sitting at about 170 um, still just struggling on the long term chart but medium term looking a bit better uh, if you look at the S&P 500 index, <coughs> very strong showing yesterday, just now well clear of this 2500 level, market looking strong, NASDAQ not quite making new highs, so still lagging the main market, and if we look at the Dow, Dow just reaching for the sky, and the Russell 2000 really seeing a big move here, so uh, stocks really rocketing much higher. Uh, the S&P uh, future also looking strong, and the NASDAQ E-mini um, not showing as much strength. So we're just seeing that relative weakness on the NASDAQ. FTSE 100 has really also, just the last few days, really transformed its uh, short-term position is looking good. Medium term, not looking as strong yet, and the long-term chart looking bullish. <coughs> and the 250 also looking very strong, as is the DAX. The DAX showing some strength here, bullish on all three time frames now. Well, that weaker euro really helping. Uh, the Nikkei also looking strong on the weaker yen and the Hang Seng recovering quite sharply as well as is the Shanghai market not fully through the cloud yet so still just a little bit weak relative to most other Asian markets and the Sensex also just below the cloud so China and India just showing some weakness um, against other major markets. The Australian market had a big jump yesterday but uh, we are just seeing that still fairly bullish in the short and medium term and uh, lots of downside targets. Brent crude coming off a little bit now in the short term bear trend, $56. Um, WTI nudging this $50 level. US nat gas just sitting below $3. So um, that's quite interesting as well. And the copper market, copper has actually been really finding some support here after a very big move of a few months. <coughs> if we look at gold, Gold is looking relatively weak at 1269. Uh, 1200, of course, is the last major low, um, and we are still bullish above the cloud on the medium and short term chart. Um, we don't have any clear long term, medium term downside targets, but we do have some short term targets. So, gold just looking quite weak in the short term, and silver also looking weaker as well. US Treasury yield sitting at 2.35%, holding their strength at the moment. Uh, Apple recovering but still bearish below the cloud. Google looking much, much stronger, bullish above the cloud on all three time frames now. Amazon putting in a recovery but not bullish yet. And Facebook also just putting in a recovery but on the short term chart not quite bullish yet either. Uh, Microsoft much the same. So we're just seeing that relative tech weakness across the board. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.